Hello, welcome to Bio3. Today we'll talk about genetics. Um, since chapter 23 and 24, they are both about genetics, so I combined uh, two chapters into uh, one lecture. So, let's look at the definition of um, genetics and heredity. Heredity is the transmission of trait from one generation to the next. So, heredity is more like a general definition, it's a general term. But genetics is a science term, because genetics is a scientific study of her heredity. Genetics is like biology, uh, it's a branch of science. Of course, genetics is under uh, the, the umbrella term of biology. Genetics is a branch of biology and is a scientific study of heredity. Um, when we talk about genetics, um, we will think about uh, Greg Amanda. It's like when we talk about evolution, we will think about Charles Darwin. But unlike Charles Darwin, Greg Amanda is a Catholic priest. Um, other than performing his uh, duties as a Catholic priest in church, uh, in his spare time, he liked to grow uh, pea plants uh, in his garden. And according to the, let's say, the flower of the pea plant, the flower color of the pea plant, then he, um, he, he studied the genetic variations. Um, for example, uh, based on his uh, study, uh, with P plant, he argue uh, these three uh, bullet points. So parents pass on their offspring discrete genes, but at that time he doesn't he doesn't um, call it genes because he he's not the one who call it genes. He he just call it heritable factors, and genes are responsible for inherited trait. And then genes retain their individual identity generation after generation, no matter how they are mixed up or temporarily masked. So, um, gene, as the gene is uh, remain in the uh, retain their identity, no matter how they mix up or temporarily mask. So they, they, they continue to exist in our body. Uh, it's just a matter of whether they're expressed or. Uh, being uh, uh, masked or suppressed. So gene um, continue uh, after generation generation. Sometimes uh, the gene will express, sometimes they will be suppressed so that we don't see the trait. So um, in here we use the term trait for the heritable feature that varies among individuals, and we use the term phenotype as is the variant of trait. Let me give you an example. What do I mean by trait and phenotype? For example, um, Mendel's he he used uh, a pea plant, okay, to study uh, genetics, right? Um, the flower, the flower color, flower color is the trait. So, uh, flower color is the trait. The phenotype will be purple or white. So those are the phenotype. The flower color is the trait. Keep in mind, this is very important, in our textbook, it doesn't use the word phenotype, it uses the word characteristics or character. Character. Um, um, the reason I use the word phenotype because uh, a few years ago I, I was teaching um, uh, the same course, Bio3A uh, hybrid lecture, uh, and then during the lecture, the, one of my students asked me, How come the term that I use is different from the textbook? 
And then I did my homework. I looked at different textbooks used by different uh, community college. It turns out that different textbook uses different terms. Then I consulted uh, 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 our West LA College Bio 3 coordinator, Professor Mermowich, and she told me that she uses the, the um, uh, official genetic terms, trait and phenotype, uh, in her teaching. And uh, so I used the same terms, trait and phenotype, uh, when I talk about genetics in this class. So um, in the next few slides, we will look at different uh, trait and phenotype uh, of the pea plant. It actually has seven. He said these seven different uh, traits and uh, 14 different phenotypes. We'll look at that later. So you may think that, okay, why Grigamendo would choose a pea plant to study uh, geno genetics? Well, pea plant usually self-fertilized. So um, it doesn't really need to have a uh, well, it, it can fertilize to different plants, okay, but it can fertilize among themselves. So it makes, uh, it has a better control of the, uh, it has a better control of the, um, uh, of the, of the, uh, of the fertilization and of the outcome. So what I mean is that, um, the cell fertilization is basically is to pro produce parent. We will talk about what I mean uh, by parent um, uh, later. The uh, parent generation. And cell fertilization is important because uh, you can produce parent generation and it can produce a pure bread. Pure bread, pea plant. I'll go back to this uh, two points later, but just keep that in, in the, at the back of your head right now. And uh, Mendel has strict control of their reproduction. What does it mean by the strict control? What it means is that Mendel can um, uh, fertilize the plant. For example, he can uh, transfer the pollen from one plant to plant A to P plant A to P plant B. Or he can uh, transfer the pollen from P plant A to P plant A. Yes, that means the cell fertilized. He can do it by himself instead of relying on butterfly or bees, you know. Mendel can do it by himself. So that, that's what it means he can, he can have a strict control of the reproduction. Um, in this case, he can, he can make sure that, okay, the plant is fertilized by, for example, if he wants to uh, cross or fertilize a purple plant with the white, uh, purple flower with white flower, then he can do it by himself. Uh, instead of uh, relying on uh, bees or butterfly, they do it randomly. So trait is a heritable feature among individual. Phenotype is a variable trait. It's a variant of the trait. I already told you that Tray. An example of trace flower color, an example of phenotype will be purple versus white flowers. So let's take a look at the basic structure of the pea plant, of the pea flower, okay? Of course, uh, this is the petal. Petal is the one that shows the color, purple or white. And then um, we have stamen. Stamen makes pollen. Pollen is basically the sperm of flowers. 
So one way I teach my student to memorize is that man mix sperm. Therefore, statement mix pollen. So you can see that man mix sperm. So statement mix pollen. So that's how uh, I teach my student to memorize it. And then uh, couple by default will be producing X. So okay, now we go back to the term that I briefly mentioned. Mendel creates something called purebred plant. What does it mean? How does how did he do it? He repeatedly bred the same color flower for many generations. So basically, he just keep on doing the self fertilization for one color of the plant, maybe the purple flower. Then he keep on doing the uh, self fertilization, or for the white flower, a pea plant, he he do the same thing for many generations. Then he get the pure blood, a uh, pure bread, uh, pea plant. This pure bread pea pea plant becomes the parent, the parent generation. He used the purebred pea plant for the parent generation. And then after that, he used the two different purebred varieties, for example, the purple flower purebred and the white flower purebred to cross. So this is like the two different color flower here. So what would he get? Oh, okay. Before we look at the um, um, the result, let's take a look at the um, trait and phenotype. So, this column, the first column, these are the trait. Trait. The second and the third column, these are the phenotype. So I hope it is clear. It um, the pea plant, the uh, uh, Mendel um, studied the seven different types of uh, trait. It has a flower color, the phenotype is purple and white. And um, flower position, uh, you have a phenotype of axial and terminal trait, seed color, you have yellow, a uh, phenotype of yellow and green. Trait, seed shape, the phenotypes. Uh, round and or wrinkled, and then trait pot shape, inflated or constructed, trait pot color phenotype green or yellow, trait stem length phenotype tall or dwarf. Well, don't worry, I will not ask you to memorize all seven. You don't need to memorize all seven, but I require you to be able to distinguish between trait or phenotype. For example, if in the exam I give you a true or false question, I ask you that, oh, the trait, is it true or false? The trait is purple or white, uh, the phenotype is flower color. Then you know that, okay, this is false. But if I tell, if I ask you that, is it true or false? Um, the phenotype is yellow or green, the trait is seed color, then it will be true. So I don't require you to memorize the entire slice here, but I require you to be able to distinguish the differences between trait and phenotype. So how did